what's going on guys dark knight here or dylan dunn i'm bringing you another video and today we are playing exo zombies on advanced warfare yeah it's been a while since i've uploaded a advanced warfare video sorry about that guys i just wasn't in advanced warfare there for a little while and i'm starting to get back into it a little bit now that uh black ops 3 is coming out soon i'm getting kind of excited about you know new call of duty and usually when new Call of Duties come out, it makes you want to go back and play the, the one that's out right now. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, play some Exo Zombies and uh, try to get into a game here. And, uh, so yeah. I really enjoyed Advanced Warfare over the year, but not as much as I expected, you know. I, bet, I think out of Advanced Warfare, uh... The thing I've enjoyed the most out of it was the Exo Zombies. Once I came out with that DLC, it made the game a whole lot better. Com is offline. We need a plan. While I play Advanced Warfare, uh, Exo Zombies, I just want to talk about a couple of things. Um, guys, let me know. Uh, like, have you enjoyed Advanced Warfare over the past year? Now that uh, Black Ops 3 is about to come out. Um, is it really what you were all hyped up for it to be? Um, I definitely enjoyed it, but it's definitely not what I expected. And that's another thing I want to talk about, guys, while we're uh, in the conversation here. Um, like, is Call of Duty going downhill? Like, Call of Duty in general? Like, just, is it, is it going downhill, guys? What do you think? Because the last Call of Duty that I was really excited for, and yet the game still put out what I expected, was Black Ops 2. I, I remember when that game was about to come out, I was hyped for that game. And, and it, it put up to what I expected. That game was an awesome game, and I enjoyed playing it so much. And then Ghost came out. And that, that game, I'm sorry, but it's my least favorite Call of Duty. You know, it it, it just absolutely sucked. I didn't like Ghost whatsoever. No I mean, I played combat. it, of course, because I'll play any Call of Duty. And I still have it. It's just, uh, it wasn't all that fun to me. Um, I never did Prestige on it just because I didn't play enough. And uh, But yeah, like, what do you think? Um... Advanced Warfare was definitely a step up from Ghost. Definitely a lot better. They brought back some stuff that we missed. And uh, they, they fixed some issues. They brought back zombies, of course. We missed zombies. And, um... Yeah, like... It was a lot better. But still, like, I don't find myself playing 24-7 weekends at a time, day after day, like I used to back in the day when I used to play like MW3 or MW2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, like all those games, uh, all those older Call of Duties, I enjoyed those games so much more than like the, the most recent Call of Duties from like Ghost Up. So basically Ghost and Advanced Warfare. I enjoyed those Call of Duties a whole lot more. And let me know what y'all think. Do, do you agree with me, or do you do you like Advanced Warfare or Ghost a lot better than the older Call of Duties? Let me know. It's not just my opinion. Um, I'd like to find out from you guys. Yeah, and just in my opinion, like I'm excited for Black Ops 3, just because it's a new Call of Duty, and I always will be excited. But. You know, like I said, I've noticed a, like, I don't know if it's just me, it might just be me, I'm just getting older and I'm not getting as excited as I used to be for video games, and I don't play as much as I used to. I don't play Call of Duty nearly as much as I used to. It might just be me, guys, but let me know, like, do you agree, like, do you think that Call of Duty's going downhill? Oh, this is a lot of dogs right here. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, do you think Call of Duty's going downhill? 
Yeah, with, with Ghost being the way it was in Advanced Warfare, it was a lot better than Ghost, but it's still not as fun as like Black Ops 2 or MW3. What do you think? Do you think they're going too far? They're going way too far with Call of Duty, or that you think uh, they need to? I think they need to take a step back into the past. They need to make a new Call of Duty game with, uh, but like back in the day with like World at War, like say they made remade World at War with, but with today's graphics, that'd be amazing. Yeah, uh, it's just I feel like there's a problem with Call of Duty now. It's just I don't know. It might just be me. But I don't know. Uh, who knows? Uh, Black Ops 3 could be amazing. Um, I've liked the Black Ops series so far. Uh, in fact, Black Ops 1 was the first Call of Duty that I personally got into. Later on, I went back and played some of the older Call of Duties, but uh, I got into Call of Duty in you know, Black Ops 1. And then uh, Black Ops 2 was amazing for me, and, you know, Black Ops 3 might be amazing, you know, I, I'm giving high hopes for Black Ops 3 just because I'm a fan of the Black Ops series, and uh, hopefully it'll be a great game, guys, but, you know, like I said, I don't know, Call of Duty's kind of heading downhill, in my opinion, and they need to bring a step up, and I was kind of disappointed when I noticed that Black Ops 3 was based in the future. I'm tired of these future games, guys. I want to go back to uh, at least modern times or before, you know, with all these gadgets. you got to get used to the game. It's like a brand new game. Like back in the day, you could hop on COD 4, MW2, and MW3, and they're basically all three the same game because it's got the same mechanics and stuff like that. So, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Uh... I don't know, like, let me get an exorcist here, I keep forgetting. I wanted to real quick, uh, have a friend join the party and see what they think, what the next Black Ops will have, and, and all this and all that. And, you know, just ha have a conversation with them. But I'm sorry about that, guys, they were busy doing something. All my friends, uh, was either playing another game or in a different chat lobby, so... Yep, I guess I'm here by myself talking to you guys. Oh, oh, got sketchy. Ah, oh, dang it. While I'm down here, guys, uh, what do you think will be in the next Black Ops 3? I did hear, I don't know much about the game yet. I've seen the latest trailer, and I've heard a couple rumors that it's confirmed that there is going to be zombies in Black Ops 3. And it is confirmed that... Um, there will be eight players on, uh, the next Zombies on, uh, Black Ops 3. Let me know what you think about that. that. I think that sounds really interesting. I'm excited to see about, uh, playing with more people, but... And I heard from a friend, this isn't from a valuable source, but it was just from a friend that's interested in Zombies. I heard that he said that he heard. <laughs> yeah, so... It's not very good information, so don't don't hold me on this. Don't, you know, say, oh, well, Dylan said this, and why isn't it true? Well, anyways, he said that there's a possibility that there's not going to be any round bases. Like, it's not going to be round based on the next zombies on Black Ops 3. Like, there's going to be, it's going to be basically like a story mode a type of gameplay or something like there's objectives you gotta get through and levels or something like that that's what I've heard like I said don't I don't know much about the game yet I need to do a little bit more research but um but yeah that's what I've heard so what do you think about that I think that'd be pretty cool I don't know I mean it would be cool if they had two different modes. Maybe they had the like campaign slash story type mode, and then they had the round mode. You know, just in case you wanted to go back to the classic style zombies. But uh, but yeah. And do you think Black Ops Three zombies will be a lot like um, uh, Advanced Warfare zombies, or what do you think? Do you think it'll be back to Black Ops Two top style, like? Who do you think? Do you think Sledgehammer is going to do the zombies? Or do you think they're going to go back to Activision? What do you think? 
I have no idea. I'm kind of interested to see what they do. I need to do more research. I don't know which uh, which company is working on Black Ops 3, whether it be Sledgehammer. I think it might be they. It is Black Ops, so I figured they are they're going back to Activision. I assume. So do you think they would go back to the classic like Pack a Punch instead of 3D printer? Do you think they'll go back to Juggernaut instead of Exo Hell? What do you think, guys? I like it, Exo Zombies a lot, but I do miss the classic style zombies. I guess I want to talk a little bit about my Call of Duty story. Um, Christmas of 2011, and I uh. The first game I got was Black Ops 1, and I got GTA 4, but we're not getting into the GTA series, I just want to talk about Call of Duty. Now, I got Black Ops 1 just because I had made my account, my Dark Knight account, on one of my friend's PS3s before I got my own PS3. So, once I got a PS3, I was pretty much set. All I needed to do was uh, sign into my profile, and I was pretty much good to go. Because I previously played his Black Ops 1, and I was already leveled up a little bit when I got my Black Ops 1. So, that's my story on that. Um, I got Black Ops 1, and then uh, later on, I remember when MW3 was, was new. I pre-ordered that. Oh, shoot. Uh, sorry about that guys I was getting distracted yeah I remember MW3 coming out that was an awesome game so I went from Black Ops 1 MW3 Black Ops 2 and then after I got Black Ops 2 I was you know kind of getting bored of all those Call of Duty so I went back and then I bought COD 4, World at War and MW2 all in one day and I bought those games and I played those games for quite a bit and I still go back and play those every now and then um, so yeah that, that's a uh, I didn't start off like oh I'm original COD 4 guy and, but I didn't have a PS3 back then so I was still rocking my PS2 I got into PS3 heck I got into gaming kinda late so, I've always gamed all my life, but I've always gotten the next system kind of later. Like, I didn't get my PS4 until um, June of the, the year that it came out. It came out, like, in November 2014. Wait, 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 wait. November, or, like, December 2013, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I think he did that. And then June 2014. Yeah. I got my PS4. I think that's how it worked. Yeah. So, yeah, anyways. And then, you know, I went back and got those older ones. And then I eventually got Ghost for PS3. Ghost was the last PS3 game I got. Not game, but the last PS3 Call of Duty I got. And then um, I got Advanced Warfare for PS4. I could have got it for PS3, but you know, I knew that I was going to be getting PS4 soon, so I went ahead and waited. Yeah, and then I got Advanced Warfare, and now I'm kind of waiting to get Black Ops 3 for a PS4. And uh, like I said, I'm excited for it. Um, I don't know what to expect. I haven't really done that much research on it. But, um, but yeah. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. I died, and I think I'm going to end the video here. I've already uh, continued for a little too long. But let me know your Call, Call of Duty story and um, what you think of Black Ops 3, what you expect. Do you, are you excited? Are you not excited? Give me your thoughts on current Call of Duties so with the latest ones. Do you think Call of Duty's going downhill, or do you think it's doing pretty good? Let me know your opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you liked it.